How's it going, guys? Don't come back, pack your bags, you take a trip and don't relax. You hit the switch and just attack. You find your niche and make some racks. Very quick question that I couldn't answer for myself way back six, seven, eight months ago. And finally, I got the answer, and I can answer my own question. How to turn a profit to a product into vendor? What I've learned the most from the Christopher Waller, aka King Com, Rip to the King Com, every product can be sold. Every. The question is if you are good enough, if you understand the audience, if you are creative enough, if you can create the content that related to the audience. I remember, like, I wanted a product, build a store, create the ads, spend $100, and <laughs> like, like, didn't get any sales, and then, hmm. I think if everybody saw seen this product or um, the freaking Facebook, they block or reject my account or something. And then like, you know, in, a, in a two days, you're thinking about next product. Like Christopher Waller says, better to test 10 angles than 10 products. And in this case, I'll try to cover everything with my knowledge, with my experience, what I would do to change unprofitable product to the vendor. As you know, before we gotta go to my screen, I'm gonna show you the proof that I know what I'm talking about. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, here how to turn unprofitable product into the vendor. First of all, we have to understand where you at. Uh, maybe you just testing or launching a product. <laughs> this is one stage. Or you found what's working and want to scale. We smile. <laughs> Second stage. And the third one, something something was working, but after one or three weeks, product died and couldn't recover. At every stage, you have different goals and you have different ways to solve them. First of all, we have to find where the leakage first. It can be maybe product, but you've seen this product and nobody wants to buy it again. Maybe it's marketing. Maybe you just target wrong people. Maybe you give them just basic offer or the angle for this product. It's maybe not relatable. Ad, not relevant. Or website, do not convert. Understanding the main KPIs. You have to, you have to know your break-even point. You're buying something for $5 on AliExpress, selling for $13. Break-even point will be the selling price divided by 25. 25 is margin. 30 minus 5, 25 equals 11. I'm just gonna show you again from my calculator. 30 divided by 25 equals 1.2. Here's your break even. CPC, average CTR, and cost per add to cart and cost per purchase. Also the website percentage add to cart, percentage of initiate checkout, and percentage percentage of purchases. And AOV. The example from my website right now. Um, this is the conversion rate 3%. And um, See that the add to cart percent percentage is six percent. It's not. It's not great. It's not great. But I've tested. We've tested a lot. It was usually average, was like a five five point six. But then we just implement something like new offer, and right now we have like six seven percent, which is right now we increase our conversion rate to like on one percent, which is good. And all you have a problem with the website. If you have CPC bigger than one dollar, it's add issue. If you have CTR lower than two percent, it's add issue. If percentage of add to cart is less than 8 to 10 percent it's the website issue the percentage if your percentage from add to cart to initiate checkout less than 50 percent it's price price issue i'm gonna show you why it didn't work every product can be sold didn't have enough budget maybe you didn't test enough creative angles usually right now i'm testing from 6 to 10 and only then i decide okay is it i can make this work or no because before usually i just like you know test one angle test one video and if it doesn't work i will think the product is bad but it was my marketing is bad right now i'm doing i test a little, a little bit more and also by the way can uh, that it didn't work for you because you didn't kill uh, profit killers on the early stage usually on the beginning you when it's the, when you found what something working but when you start to scale increase the budget usually <laughs> you spend a little more on ads on campaign that don't work that's why you didn't see any profit or maybe ad account and here's most the most problem with dropshipping funnel it can be your ad or website and these solutions for them um first maybe product is sucks does not have demand product is way too saturated i've seen this product before and scrolling without stopping to see what is that i unengage in first three seconds if you don't have if you don't capture people attention there is no way to make them go to your page how to solve it create multiple variations of first three video seconds first three seconds of the video spelling errors <laughs> can relate to me by the way uh people don't go uh, people are not going to trust your ad if you have not clear cta call to action Sometimes people have couple, tag, share, whatever, but usually I use only one and clear shop now, get yes here or something like this. Another problem can be it's too salesy. You mentioned the sale quantity left, sale end in 24 hours. Make sure your ad are authentic, like regular posts that you want other people to check it out, share something cool. Haters in the comments. Uh, you would surprise how many people scroll down the comment section and see what other commenting on product. Make sure hiding, not delete, not delete negative comments and leave your own comments with good pictures and testimonials. 
Andrew face rating. If you have a bunch of Andrew faces on your ad, it will increase your CPC and CPM. How to fix it? Run cheap PPE campaign at the same time to exact post. Then you'll be able to show Facebook that your ad more engaging. If you have problem with the product page, visitors but no add to carts, low quality traffic, use conversion type of ad. Most uh, visitors should be from the United States, Canada, UK, New Zealand, Australia, France, French. Uh, not from Ukraine, Brazil, Indonesia, Mexico, Turkey, etc. The add to cart button doesn't stand out. Uh, it cannot be transparent. It can be transparent the same color as tags black. Avoid other distraction as the pop-ups. Tips: Use sticky add to cart button. Using scarcity. Feeling that product or service in a short supply. And urgency. Feel like the need to act quickly. Use only one of these because using both of them is too much. Use only scarcity only. It's pretty what I do. Using uh, account down timer. People uh, get used to for this and they don't believe it anymore. Inconsistency between ad. Um, what are they saying on ad and different what you have what they see on the on product description? Stop trusting you. Spelling errors on a product page. People are not going to trust your page. Low quality image with the logos. You can see uh, pixelation, weird logos for other stores or Chinese letters. If people stuck, if you have add to cards, uh, add to cards but no initiated checkout. Can be low quality traffic. No expiration uh, expiration time. No urgency on your page. If they don't buy now, they will lose their item. Time usually for 10 minutes. Pop up upsells. Use upsell directly built into the color uh, quantity option. Add to cart. Do not interrupt people on a cart page. Checkout bottom doesn't stand out. Stand out and use the same color as your theme page. Uh, no trust pages. If people check out but not purchase. Low quality traffic, no trust pages, still don't feel safe. Shipping too much. People get used for Amazon Prime shipping and when they see the price of shipping, they are shocked. Um, you can rent ship for shipping but more than but no more than five dollars. But my personal recommendation is free shipping. Shipping item as unknown. Customer doesn't know how long it takes to get the item in the customer's house. If they didn't see this info in the product page, in the cart page, or initiate checkout, still don't know, they may be curious. Personal recommendation, put shipping time on the product page or on the thank you page. Price is too high. Sometimes people still think their heads, in their heads that the price is too high even if they are not in checkout page. To deal with that, add at five extra 5% 5 discount on the cart page or checkout page to help them to make the purchase decision. Thank you page. Let them know that their order will arrive. Edit thank you page, script on a Shopify. Hey, here is your confirmation. Thank you for your purchase from us. Your order is trackable, which you can update very soon, and it will be dispatched uh, from our warehouse within three business days. In peak periods, please allow us uh, up to six days for dispatch. Uh, standard international shipping, 8 15 days. All shipping times include clearance, custom delays. If you have any questions, please contact us at supportecomedy.com. From my mind, with which can be the problem, and right now you can come back to your store, to your product page, to all your situation, and see what happens, where the leakage is. And if you see the problem with the ad, just go through the same video, just take notes and stop when you see that what you can improve right now. I hope you found this video valuable. If so, I think I deserve the like. Remember, scale with a smile. See you in next video. In my background, I'm not sure how many of you guys know this, but I was a personal trainer and for about two or three weeks I was learning dropshipping just on YouTube. And um, basically I got fired from my job because this kid got hurt at the at the at the gym and I, apparently it was my job to keep watch of him. Anyways. I was studying dropshipping for two or three weeks. I hadn't tested anything. I hadn't done anything yet, but I was studying it for a few weeks. I got fired and had like $300 in my bank account. And I was like, okay, well, I could either get another job or I could test this. And I did. And when I tested it, I just built a store and I, I was into fitness. I was a personal trainer. So I created like a fitness type of store and I sold leggings, free plus shipping on a yoga page and it worked. I put in like 40 or $80 and got back 800. And I was just like, holy crap, it typically takes me three weeks to make this. So I went all in on drop shipping. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of that there.